Have you ever wished for one beverage that would help you get rich quick while solving all of your personality disorders? Unfortunately, that beverage is only available by prescription. But as a citizen of New Hampshire, you are entitled to beer from ManchesterBrewing.com if you pay for it. Enjoy it for breakfast, lunch, and at all other times, except while driving. This has been a public service announcement from ManchesterBrewing.com ManchesterBrewing.com We're standing here with Dan McGuire of Epsom, New Hampshire, who is a libertarian who is on the planning board. And a Republican. And a Republican <laughs> and the chairman of the planning board uh, in Epsom, New Hampshire. That's true. Now, more, most people associate planning boards with something that's not very libertarian. How does that work out for you? <laughs> well, we have a lot of five-to-one votes. <laughs> so even though you're technically you know, the guy in charge, you're basically not. Yeah, the reason I'm the, the chairman is because I'm the only one with time on my hands to do it. Um, uh, everyone else has, has a job or an excuse. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, you're you're one of the folks. I, I try to push them in the in the right way, but yeah, yeah. Well, I'm sure there's some folks where you split the difference. But, yeah. Uh, um, well, I mean, do you get any? I mean, do people look at you like, what on earth are you doing here in this? You know, in or, or do they do you fit right in? Oh no, no, I don't think that's true at all. No, I think um, I think they appreciate uh, a different point of view sometimes, and I think that I'm definitely treated seriously. Whether they agree with me all the time or not, I don't, I don't think it's it's not the case that there's um, uh, that you know there's no horns growing out of the head or anything like that. You know, so. Now you moved to New Hampshire for more freedom, you know, back in what oh four oh three. Um, yeah, I moved about four years ago, so it's uh, July of '05. So you moved from someplace else where things were different or similar, or I moved from Washington State. Uh, Washington State, very nice state. Um, you know, and it, it also is nice tax-wise and all those other reasons, uh, weather-wise. Um, but but I wanted to see if I could do something. You know, I, you I wanted like to see if I could make a difference. And certainly, there, much bigger state, uh, not as organized, all that sort of stuff. I don't think, you know, it didn't seem to have the impact that we potentially can have here. And you're, uh, you ran for rep last year, didn't make it. It was kind of a Democrat year. Yeah, I, uh, both my wife and I uh, ran. She won. I didn't. I, I attribute that strictly to uh, gender bias. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's she she beat me by about 100 votes yeah. and out of 2,400. So, you know. And uh, do you have a, are you going to run for rep in, uh, in 2010? Yes, I will. Okay, awesome. Uh, what do you think the prospects are at that point? Do you think the winds will start to shift by then? or? I'm hoping they will because, you know, the, the direction the state's going is certainly not pleasant for us. Um, and uh, so I, I kind of think so. I mean, uh, ordinary people we talk to. Um, We're standing at the State House, by the way, you yeah. know, where, where we just had a big protest against taxes. This is what's left, I guess. Yeah, there's not very many. That was about an hour ago the protest ended. But, yeah. yeah. But, um, uh, you know, uh, you know, it seems to me, I, like for example this morning, I went to a coffee shop for breakfast and sat at the counter with ten other people who had walked in randomly, and I was carrying the budget with me, which is, you know, four inches thick. <laughs> and, the state uh, budget? The state budget, House Bill 1, which is all the spending. And, uh, you know, I sat it on the table and they recognized it. And, and uh, you know, they said, I hope you're voting against that. <laughs> I said, well, my wife is voting against it. But, but the point is, it was unanimous. You know, nobody, nobody wants that kind of stuff. Yeah. And, and uh, so whether they turn out to vote that way is, is the question. But I, I certainly think we could, we could win if we can, you know, unlock those votes. Yeah. All right. Sam McGuire of Epson. Thank you. You're welcome. Mr. Chairman. <laughs> this edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by ManchesterBrewing.com. ManchesterBrewing.com. He's the guy that he's the guy that makes the beer.